I have a dream. My dream is to become a dentist. You may ask why I chose such a long and, hard and difficult career. Well, I have many reasons to why I chose to become a dentist. My grandmother. My main reason is my grandmother. My grandmother passed away last year on November 6, 2020. My grandmother had the most beautiful smile. She would always have a bright smile on her face, and it was never a fake smile. She was always real about it and always ready to show her beautiful smile. That motivated me to make other people happy and make them want to show their teeth with a bright smile. I chose to become a dentist because I want to see my patients leave my clinic with a beautiful smile. I want their smiles to remind me of my grandmother's smile and to remind me that I became what I wanted to become and that I'm a very successful dentist. The second reason to why I want to become a dentist is to make my mom, my grandmother, my dad, and my family very proud of me, including my community, for who I became. However, there are many people who scare me and make me upset. The people who make me upset are the people who are very negative about me becoming a dentist and that are very negative about how I can be or choose a career that would make me more successful than them. Everyone may encounter negative people in their life, people who don't want you to succeed. My mother always told me to never give up on my dream and always go and run for what I want to become. I should always know that there are people behind me who are positive and who are people behind me that are negative. And that in order to prove to the negative people that you can make it, is to actually make it. And if I want to become a dentist, I have to prove to the negative people that I can become, become a dentist. I only have to do one thing, bring a certificate that proves that I am a dentist. And my mom always told me, show people that certificate and tell them that they were wrong about one thing, about you not being able to become a dentist. What makes me scared is living in America. You may ask why that makes me scared. As Dr. King mentions in his speech about he, how he wants God's children to stand next to each other and there will be freedom. In my opinion, I'm not free. I'm a Muslim female that wears the hijab and I'm fully covered from head to toe. I can barely walk. Um, in streets without humiliation or discrimination, such as go back to your country, or you are a terrorist, do you have a bomb under your clothes, ha ha ha. That might not sound scary to many people, but it is scary to me, because as a Muslim fellow, me and my community are labeled as terrorists in America after the 9-11 uh, incident that occurred. Islamophobia has spread, and that is the main reason to why I feel unsafe and I do not feel free in America. What is it related to my dream? Well, it has a very, very huge connection to why I want to become a dentist. I keep asking myself a question. Should I give up on my dream or should I become a dentist? The reason to why I think about that question is because me as a Muslim female, who wants to become a dentist, will I be able to have my own patients? Will I be able to open my own clinic? Or no, because of the way that I'm labeled in society as a terrorist, are people going to be scared of me being their dentist? Or no, or will people trust me or not? And that's the only question that keeps coming across my mind about whether I should give up on my dream or not. I know that I should not give up on my dream, but is society going to win over my thought, over my dream, or will my dream win over my society?